Megan. I'm Sierra. And I'm Maggie. And we're from TC2. In today's video, we are all going to be trying to reduce our screen time over the next week. Mm -hmm. So as young teenagers, <laughs> almost, I mean we're all adults, but we use our phones a lot, specifically yeah. for social media, so we're going to try and spend more time this week not on our phones and so, doing other things. Yeah. So we're all going to start screen recording on our phones. We're going to go to our settings and see how long we've been averaging going on our phone throughout the week. So, everyone pull it up. Sears is different because she has an ancient phone. Yeah, I have an old phone, so mine looks a little different. All right, I'm going through the last seven days. Oh my goodness. What's yours? I can't do that. My average per day over the last seven days is five hours and 52 minutes on my phone. Mine's six hours and 58 minutes. <laughs> That's and so long. Wait, you wouldn't have the that. It's 13% down from last week. So, Wait, I'm curious, what's your guys' most used app? Yours is a game. Hungry Cat. <laughs> yeah. Really? Mine's messages. Mine's Instagram. 11 hours and 35 minutes in the past week is how much time I've spent on Instagram. Mine's wow. 10 hours for messages. Me and Maggie also have weekly total written on our phone, and so my weekly total is 41 hours and 9 minutes on my phone. Mine's 48 and That means you literally two spend days. Like, yeah, how does that work? literally just on your phone. Okay, well, you know what's annoying? That's scary. Every time you get, like, a notification, it counts as screen time. It's going to be hard when I walk to class and can't be on my phone. <laughs> So starting this week, I think we're going to make a goal to reduce our daily social media usage to what number? Or we could always like work our way down. Okay, we should, I want to try and get it down like 50%. That's a lot. I'm going to do an hour less of social media and I'm going to try and reduce my whole screen time. Do you mean an hour less or like to an hour? Or I'm at an hour max. So that's our goal. What are you guys going to plan on? Like, what are you going to try and do to reduce? I feel like, here's what I thought of. I always go on Instagram when I'm bored, and then I'll go to, like, the Explore page and just start scrolling through. Or, like, if people posted something, I'll go to their profile. So just not doing that. Like, if you just stick with your feed, things are, like, you look at everything and then it's done. I'm just, mm -hmm. when I get bored, so I'm just going to try and do something productive. Productive. Probably, uh, do I some could do schoolwork. School yeah. Oh, oh love that. By the end of the week, I'll be like, wow, I, like, finished all my schoolwork. How did that I'm happen? I feel like I've never gone back. <laughs> All right, let's, let's start do it. it. <laughs> so today is Monday morning. It's the start of our week of trying to reduce screen time. Um, usually I go right on my phone in the morning and go on social media. And I did do that right when I woke up because I kind of forgot we were doing this. And then I stopped. So I haven't really been on social media at all this morning. And I'm going to try doing it from what you were saying when we were doing the intro of this video too just check my feed if yeah you're not like the other don't do the explore whistles. yeah so i think that'll be helpful and i don't know when i'm gonna check it throughout the day but me and Sierra are walking to campus because it's nice out and that way i feel like instead of sitting on your phone and like going through you social media bus. we'll just like walk enjoy just the scenery that. chat and then between class i also don't want to try and use social media later but we'll update you guys and i'll let you know when i do check all right hey guys um it's day one it's like 1.30, and this is hard. It's not really hard to reduce my screen time. It's hard to stay under an hour of social media because according to the iPhone, social media is messages. And I didn't realize how many people like text me like about like classwork, about anything. I talk to my parents every day, like a lot. Um, so it's just like hard. I'm already almost to my hour. How am I supposed to text people back once I get to my hour? I don't know. But it's just like, I find myself just being so bored. And you know what sucks? I have like no homework. I could study for finals, but like, so yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow's gonna be real boring because I don't have any class. So you know what I'm going to do right now? I'm going to donate plasma because I'm bored and I've never done it. But you know, that's some easy money right there. So I'm gonna go donate plasma and I don't know what I'm gonna do because I'm probably gonna wanna be on my phone, but whatever. So I just checked how long I've been on my phone today and I'm an hour and 44 minutes below average. Um, I've been making it a point today to honestly just like try and not go on my phone as much as possible and it hasn't even been that hard. I think my social media thing was at 28 minutes, which is honestly still more than I thought because I've only been going on apps like very quickly scrolling through my feed and then just like getting off and so i'm still kind of surprised it's at 28 minutes but i still have an hour left then um before i hit my daily limit but it's going pretty good so far all right it is the end of our first day trying to reduce our screen time um so i'm actually going to go ahead and pull up how i did today i've checked a couple times i've been on my phone for two hours 49 minutes guys 
I am three hours and 20 minutes below my average. So, in social networking, I'm only at 42 minutes. I set my screen time goal to be an hour and a half, and I... For social media. Definitely don't think I'm going to go over that today. Yeah, social media. So, I think tomorrow I'm going to take that down to one hour. Since coming back to our apartment, when I'm like done doing schoolwork, I'm like, I'm bored. I want to go on yeah. you know, social media. I don't know yet. Or something else I was thinking about is usually when I'm on the bus, I'll go on my phone just like on social media, and I'm just like... Is it bad to go on your phone? Like, I don't think it's bad to go on your phone when you're just, like, on the bus. I think that the problem is when it's taking away from your productivity. Yeah. But, but I'm just still... For the sake of this challenge, I'm still going to try and limit that as much as possible. And I think just try and, like, see what that does for me, like, at the end of the week. Um, but we'll see how tomorrow goes. I'm going to make it even more strict, and I think it's going to be harder. So, me too. we'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright, guys. So, um, I'm 20 minutes over social media. Which is just annoying because it's like 2.30. I haven't even been on social media except messages and I'm 20 minutes over. Yay. I'm so bored without my phone. I'm like supposed to be on it. So I'm literally responding to all of my comments on my new personal channel video. LOL, a self shout out. I have finished all of my homework for the whole week. So I don't know what to do. So I've been watching YouTube for like the whole day and look at what time it is oh, 2.20 lord help me alright so it is time for our Tuesday check in right now it is 6.12 we have just come back from the library after a long day of studying and working hard so I feel like I haven't been on my phone for a lot of the day Same. so I'm screen recording right now I'm at an hour and a half of screen time 2 hours below my average so I think that's pretty good 30 minutes of social networking. I set my goal today to be an hour 15 minutes max. So I did decrease it from yesterday, hoping to not hit it. I also wanted to tell you guys that last night before going to bed, I posted an Instagram picture and I have my notifications on for Instagram, but I decided to turn off my screen notifications, like to show up on my lock screen. So that's made me just like not honestly feel like going on Instagram all day because I feel like usually it pops up. I check it and then I'm kind of like, let me just like go to Instagram really quick. I also wanted to add that I've had my Instagram notifications turned off for literally forever. So, she's joined the dark So, side. I don't know. I kind of am like, maybe I'll keep that. Alright, this is Sam. Are you, huh? are you impressed with my phone usage? Very impressed. Guess how long I've been on it today? An hour and 30 minutes. An hour and 12. Whoa. Down eight hours. <laughs> Hey guys, it's my game and I look like a nerd, but I'm here to tell you that today has been the most successful day on my phone. It's day three and I haven't even been, it's like nine and I haven't even been on my social media, on my, yeah, social media for an hour. I've been on it for 48 minutes and I've been on my phone for like an hour and 12 minutes, which is like insane for me. But my um, technique is to put my phone in a different room for the whole day and I'll literally not look at it. If I get myself doing something, I don't care if I don't have my phone, it's just I have to be doing something. So I cleaned like everything deeply today. Alright guys, we are going to be checking in on how our social media... Our Thursday recap. Um, also today, or yesterday, we didn't check in. It wasn't a bad day for me yesterday, but it wasn't as day. great. Like Monday, Tuesday, I came in strong. Yeah. Wednesday, like my social it's media like and hits, stuff was yeah. definitely down. Today is going to be interesting because we recorded a video today, a Q&A, where the questions were obviously on Instagram. I still don't think I went over my hour social media limit, but I am like right at it, I think. I spent like 32 minutes on Twitter today, but I think most of that was because the NFL draft was today and I was like looking at stuff on Twitter about the draft. Somehow I was on Snapchat for 14 minutes, I'm not sure how that Let's happened. see. And then Instagram for 14. So, I was on my phone for an hour and 51 minutes today. Three hours and 41 minutes below my average, that's good. And then social networking is at 58 minutes, so I'm still below my hour limit. Also, you guys saw earlier, I, sho I showed myself throwing my phone out here while I was in my room doing schoolwork to like just separate it from me. And I didn't touch my phone for three and a half hours. Way to go. So, that's pretty good. I did get some good work done on my schoolwork. So it definitely helps to eliminate distractions if you like just separate yourself Stay from it. Out of there. So tomorrow is our last day of the challenge. I'm really gonna try it. Maybe I should like lower my social media usage even more. I don't know, but I'll let you guys know.
all right guys so i forgot to vlog all weekend and i did so bad with my phone um well it's sunday but i just looked at my screen time and i'm sorry i can't show you guys it i'll send the screenshot to megan so she can put it in the video but um i got exactly 50 percent below last week so that was my goal and i did really good on not using social media that much and honestly my overall thoughts are it was really good and it was really nice but at some points i just like was bored and like felt like so so bored and unproductive so yeah anyways it was a good journey and i think that you guys should try it if you have it and if you're obsessed with your phone like i know i am because it's honestly really nice so yeah i hope it helps me not be on my phone for nine hours a day Okay guys, so it's officially been one week since we concluded our shortening our screen time and we actually didn't intend to wait this long before doing the outro but I think it works out better happen. because yeah. we get to see how the challenge impacted our screen usage. So obviously during the week I thought we did a pretty successful job of reducing our screen time pretty drastically and it helped me be more productive I think because I wasn't on my phone as much, so I kind of feel like I was more yeah. productive. As far as whether or not we've continued reducing our screen time, I did just check my screen time and it was at like 33 hours for the past week versus like before the challenge started, I think it was around 42 hours. So it was less and I wasn't trying to be on my phone less, but it also is definitely like, I wasn't, I felt like I was still on my phone a lot. I think that after the challenge, when I was kind of like allowed to be on my phone, I didn't really care as much, whereas during the challenge, like, even if I was just chilling in my room, I'd be like, don't go on your phone. Yeah. Uh, but, like, if I'm just, like, done studying for the night or just, like, bored, then it doesn't really matter if I go on my phone. Yeah. Uh, I think the biggest impact it has had is that when I'm studying or trying to be productive, if I need a quick break, I'll, like, do a quick check and then put it away. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did, make sure you give a thumbs up. Um, the shout out from last week's video goes to this person that's on screen right now. If you guys want a chance to be at next week's shout out, comment down below what your screen time is. Yeah, I dare you guys to check. I'm sure it'll be, be for a day or a week or however long you want. Also, comment down below some more video ideas, stuff you want us to post in the summer. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye! Bye.